Hi, my name is Matheus, I'm from Brazil. This video is my second assignment for the course Introduction to Music Production I'm taking from Berkeley on Coursera.org. In this video I'm going to explain how to record multiple takes on Reaper. Here we have a session already open, already recorded. I previously recorded drums, bass, two guitars, and we are going to record two more takes for the second guitar so we can choose which takes better. First, we need to select in the timeline the space where we're going to record our new takes. That's important because we're going to record in auto punch mode. That means Reaper are going to record from here to there in the end, just in the space we've selected. Before starting, let's check the metronome. It's OK, counting, play roll, activate. Now let's arm the track for recording. Let's check. OK. Let's go. Now Reaper asked me to save, ok, let's save all. See what happened, now we have two takes on the same track. Let's make it bigger. Now we have two takes, we can select each one clicking on it. But I want to record another one, so we'll have three takes. Ask it to save again. OK, save all. Now we have three takes and are going to start comping, which means choose the best part of each take and make one take. I think the second take has the best intro. Let's listen. That's OK, so I'm going to put my cursor here and press S to split. Well, I think the first take has the best middle part. Let's listen to. OK, so I split here and click on it to select this part. The best final part here is from the take 3. And here is where the magic happens. Reaper are going to play only the parts I select. Okay, I think these are the best parts. So I press Ctrl well. Now I have only the selected parts visible. The other parts are still there and you can toggle using Ctrl L. Well, this was my assignment on record multiple takes on Reaper. Thanks for watching. Bye.